Hey there guys, this is Indium here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Mario and the Luigi Superstar Saga. Okay, so on the last episode, we got bombarded by a bunch of cheesy cola puns, and this episode, um, we got to rescue Mario, because Mario's been, well, we fell into this massive pit, and Mario's down at the bottom there, so we got to go and try and save him. Now this is like a miniature cave, there's not really a whole heck of a lot to it, I think there's a few enemies along the way, and a few items you can pick up, but nothing of any importance. Um, so yeah, we, uh, this is the only time in the game where you will come back here and, and go in this cave, uh, but at least we don't have to worry about switching characters to change attacks and things, you know, like switch to the hammer and switch to the booster jump, you don't have to worry about that, but Luigi's going to be hogging up all the EXP here, so I'm um, hoping that he doesn't gain a level um, while Mario is not around because that would suck. Because considering Mario is not around, I think Luigi gets more EXP. Uh, it's kind of like Final Fantasy, you know, if your character dies in your party and you actually finish the battle with dead party members, you get more EXP than what you would if your party member was alive. Yeah, it's the same in Earthbound, I think that's the same principle, like if one of your party members in Earthbound dies, you get more EXP if your party member is dead than what they are if they're alive, because all the EXP goes to the person who survived uh, the battle. Uh, I don't think it is the same principle with this game, though. I think you get the same amount of EXP no matter what, I mean, even, even if Mario is hanging around, you still get the same. But there are enemies later on in this game that do go up to the hundreds in the EXP, um, but I don't think there's any enemies that go up to the uh, thousands except from boss battles. I think maybe there's a few boss battles in this game that go up to a thousand EXP when you beat them. But we're still in early days at the moment, we've still got a long way to go, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about future events. And you can't call for any more help because you just ran out of your health and he died. <laughs> So, even if you do, oh, what the hell? Dude, you can't do that. You can't keep summoning more and more people. That's just not fair. I mean, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't just call Mario to suddenly appear. I mean, he's down up, down in the freaking bottom of the cave. And I've got to go and try and rescue him while you guys are cock blocking me. We've got 60 EXP from that, so that's good. More and more enemies. <laughs> I started a new file on Diddy Kong Racing again um, a few days ago. Man oh man, I have not played that game in about three or four years, so it's like playing it for nostalgic purposes. Because um, I've only ever beaten the game once, and I've never played the game from scratch, so it's like I'm playing the game without having a lot. Uh, drumstick or TT clock because when I first started playing the game I already had those characters on there um, yeah I don't know what the one on the, I, I very briefly played the one on the DS but I know the one on the DS has more characters that you have to unlock like you have uh, I know you have to unlock TT clock in that game and I know you have to unlock drumstick the original uh, two characters from the original game, um, but the only difference is obviously in uh, Diddy Kong Racing on DS is that Conquer isn't in it, which is kind of weird because the game is made by Rareware, even if it's on DS, it's still got the Rareware logo on it. So I was thinking, I know it's, I know Conquer is owned by Rare. So then why didn't Rare put it in their own licensed game? They could have put Conquer in there if they wanted to. I mean, even if it is on a Nintendo licensed product, you know, Rareware still made the game. Unless Nintendo made the game, but then got Rareware's permission to make the game. So Nintendo actually made the game, but Rareware was like, Oh yeah, you know, you can put this on our DS, or on the DS. We have no problem with that, as long as you don't use any of our licensed characters. Because Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong got taken back to Nintendo once Rareware had finished with them. Because Rareware made Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong 64. You know, they were pretty big with Donkey Kong in the 90s. 
So I'm guessing they gave the rights to Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong back to Nintendo. Which is kind of weird because Diddy Kong was on a first appeared on a Rareware game. You know. Diddy Kong first appeared in Donkey Kong Country, which was made by Rareware, <laughs> not made by Nintendo. So it's kind of weird that Nintendo had made it. I mean, even if Rareware had, you know given the orders to Nintendo to make the game, they still could have at least put Conquer in there, surely. Uh, we had, oh, yeah, we're heading back up to Bean Bean Castle Town. I thought we were heading somewhere else there for a second. Hmm, well, look at this, a very Mario-esque fellow guy and uh, Lou, uh, some other guy. Oh, come on, pronounce his name. His name's Luigi, you know, the famous brother from the famous duo, Mario and Luigi. <laughs> what is it? Mario's gut is filled to the brim with chocolate reserve. It's sloshing around his insides. Ew, gross. <laughs> Th that's terrible and sort of disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm, by the way, what's chocolate reserve? Shh, I have no idea. God damn it, you guys are so goofy. <laughs> grr, grr, grr. Wow, Queen Bean looks like she's in pain and distress. We must help her. Queen Bean is in deep, has been in a deep sleep, just as you see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the legendary Chocola Reserve? Well, there you have, there you go. Have at it. <laughs> Blurf. Oh, come on, it tastes good. Ah, oh, no, it's a uh, belly worm. Hmm. It looks kind of like uh, that pop old guy. What the heck does it? Oh, she's back to normal again. Oh, she doesn't look that much different. <laughs> Ooh, success. A truly repug repug repugnant, um, yet truly re tremendous uh, success. Queen Bean has returned. Ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long time. Uh, well done, Lady Lima. No, your highness is not I, but rather the Mario Bros whom you must thank. Hmm, so Cacletta has stolen Princess Peach's voice and the Beanstar. It was my fault. Nonsense. But why would Cacletta steal the Beanstar and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? The Beanstar is the protector of this land, and it has the power to grant any and de all desires. I was, about to, I was about to say, has the power to grant or has the power to destroy or something. <laughs> to prevent such power from being used for evil, the Bean Star was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Bean Star from the slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. Ah, I get it. So we have to get Princess Peach to speak to the Bean Star. But the problem is though, Princess Peach has lost her voice. <laughs> In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So the reason Cacletta stole Princess Peach's voice, aha, she must plan to awaken the Beanstar and fulfill all of her desires. And there's no mistake in her one true desire to rule the world. Yeah, <laughs> fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, ago, long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Well, that's a nice metaphor that you use there. <laughs> Your Highness, Prince Peacely has arrived. Perfect timing, Master Mario and Master Luigi. Head out to meet Prince Peasley. Okay, okay. Let's go and see the prince. And see what kind of words and information he's got for us. His hair is on fleek. <laughs> Cheers to Red and Greeny. Thank you for, for your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. <laughs> Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacletta? <laughs> Thanks to you. Absolutely! Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University, our local research institution. Cacletta and her underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo University. That's a bit of a tongue twister, try saying that fast. <laughs> yes, of course, Woohoo University is the perfect place to awaken the Beanstar. I intend to march into Woohoo University 
right this instant. May we meet again. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are allowed to end a loud passage on the road to Woohoo University. Yeah, the reason why it sounds kind of like a tongue twister is because that the first word ends off the same way as the second word starts. So it's like Woohoo University, you know. <laughs> that's why it's kind of a tongue twister. <clears throat> Alright, so let's make a save quick. Sip my water. Water, 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 water. Alright, so we're supposed to head off to Woohoo University, but I don't know exactly where that is. I've got to remember. I know it's down the south somewhere, so I guess we're going to have to head down the south. And Bean Bean Castle has actually been restored, and there's people around. It's not a desolate wasteland anymore. <laughs> It's full of happiness and joy and stuff. <laughs> um, I think there's a few side quests you can do around here as well. Uh, if you speak to some of the townspeople, but I want to try and find my way around first, see what, see what's what. Uh, I think this is like a hint store. Yeah, you don't want to be in here. There's nothing in there. Yo, 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 bros, you've been traveling, dudes. I'm like hurting over here in a big, big way, bros. Can't you help a bean out? Sure. Seriously, bros, my little pet bean that's up, on, up and took off on me, poor little doodlets. If you can catch all five of them <coughs> for me, I'll totally make it worth your while. You'll be like, score! <laughs> Beanlets are all, tiny, are all tiny and green and stuff. Plus, they are all round. You can't miss them, seriously. The thing is, they ain't, you know... Super motivated, so no way those little dudes would have left town. Come on, bros, I know you can. You guys can take care of business. Get on, get your super on. Alright, I know there's a few of them up, hidden up on the roofs um, of some of these houses. Alright, so you mainly need to use the Ouija's jump boost here to get you to high ground. So, oh, there's one here actually. You got a beanlet. So there's five of these guys, well now there's four. We have to find. And there's actually two parts to town. There's this part of town and then there's another part. Because you could only see the first part of town at the when you first arrived because the second part of town was blocked off. Oh, actually no, wait, okay, maybe there isn't a second part of town. That takes you out to the other side. Yeah, they must be hidden inside the buildings then some of these houses. Because I know they're all in this area. They're not hidden around in weird places. At least I don't think so. I don't think they're hidden outside of town. I mean, it'd be pretty weird if they were. Though. I just remember them, some of them being really awkward to find. There's some here, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. There's just a bunch of item blocks in here. Bean, syrup, bean, and super mushroom. <laughs> on the island out to sea, on the right edge of the map, there is a place where you can learn hand powders. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> then how about this? On the bottom right part of your map, where all the rocks are, there is a place where the Jellyfish sisters will teach any who use hand power an incredible new technique. Did you know that? Yes. Fine, you are no fun, smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I played this game before. I know all this crap. But that's kind of spoilery, so a bit disappointing. Not that I intended to spoil anything for you guys. Is there anything in the shop? Any hidden beans around, you know? <laughs> Maybe they're back up here. I, I don't know. If, I don't remember there being any outside, like, around this area. That's the sun inside the castle, because he said they haven't left town. So if they haven't left town, 
And Demian Castle is a part of the town, so they've got to be somewhere, right? Oh, library. I don't even know if I'm just doing any studying. <laughs> Done playing enough of that at college. I didn't do any more. Yeah, no. Oh boy, <laughs> I do remember this quest being a bit of a pain, but hopefully it doesn't cause me too much problems. Well, let's step back down to the sewers. You don't want to go down. Ah, okay. There's a hidden block here. That we didn't forgot to pick up. Alright, I guess we haven't explored enough around town then, because I know he said, okay, they're not outside of town, so if they're not outside of town, then they got to be somewhere, right? <laughs> <coughs> um, if I don't find him shortly, then I'm going to have to end off the video, because, uh... I've been recording for quite a while now, or this one video anyway. I think uh, up there she retakes your photo if you want to get it retaken. But we're not going to do that. Yeah, where the hell is. What the f. I can't find him anywhere, dude. Unless you have to speak to someone. And they, and they give them to you. Either that, I'm just not looking hard enough. Is there one behind the tree? <laughs> nope, there's not one behind the tree. Um, yeah, there's three more to go. I bet I've walked past some of them though, that's like the thing with me. Like, sometimes. Oh, right, okay. Uh, there is two parts to town then, what the hell? I just wasn't going to the left. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I was certain that there was three parts to town. See, I was right. So yeah, I guess finding these beams aren't that difficult. I was just being stupid. This must be the part of town we've never been to before. Then. So there's one more left. Right, hiding somewhere. I think you get like gear for this. You get some equipment that you can use, and that's where you can trade off your beams in, there, in that shop. Oh, it's a giant trooper trooper. Duh. Once in a while, I get off the urge, get the urge to go nap under a roof. Then I'll rent myself a room. Duh. But then even they are really big enough for me. <laughs> Man, those things look so derpy, especially with their eyes, like boggle eyes. Is that here somewhere? Nope. Hmm. Ah, I think I might have found it. Or oh, is this something? Oh, that's something else. What the hell is a dude doing behind the tree? <clears throat> it might be up here. Yeah, it could be us. Okay. <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> oh, that was like the weirdest okay I've ever said in my life. God, it's like I was choking while I was saying that. Choking on my own breath. <clears throat> That ain't good. <laughs> uh, maybe there is actually one in the shop uh, or in this one of these houses somewhere. Uh, just keep checking, keep checking. Damn, I've got to find one more. It's just one more, dude. I can't 
to find it anywhere. <laughs> Well, I could end it off here and we'll find it in the next episode. I mean, there's only one more left. It's not that much of a big deal. I mean, I can, I, I can even find it off screen and then that'll make things a little bit... Oh, no, there it is. Found it. You got a, you got a beanlet. So now we've got all four... No, all five. Sorry. All five beanlets. So with that, we're going to go trade in the quest and see what we get for it. I can't remember. I, I, I swear, I think it's gear that you get. Yo, my poor little beanlet dude buddies. Um, you got them back. You got them all back for me. Yo, many thanks, bros. I'm practically crying. I'm so relieved these dudelets are safe. Anyway, right on, bros. Here's the reward I promised you. Oh, okay. We got a rare golden mushroom. <laughs> uh, what does that do? I imagine it gives significant amount of HP back. <laughs> I think this is a one, one and only chance you can get one of these uh, items. Oh, it maxes HP and bros points. Well, that's going to be very useful when we come to a boss battle. So, I definitely do thank you for that. <laughs> We're all up to speed on HP and BP. And with that, I'm getting it off the episode. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, uh, we shall be heading off to Woohoo University. Because that's the next thing that we've got left to do. So, um, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, boys. See you in the next video. And goodbye.